Alrighty guys, I'm welcome back to another LEGO video from Brick by Brick. And today, we have a review for the one and only X1 Ninja Charger. This is a really awesome set. This is just a box. There's the other side of the box. Obviously, it obviously shows off all the cool features. So, these are all the little figures. It shows us on the top. I'll give you a closer look at all those. And just the bottom, nothing too special. This side, there's like nothing. So, that's the box. Instruction booklets, we get uh, two little booklets. This one shows you how to build all the Nindroid things. It's got the little recon drone and the interceptor bike. And this shows you how to build just the little drone thing. And the, um, you know, the big large build. So, if I angle this downwards, it's probably angled way too far downwards. Yes, my... Okay. There. Take these off to the side. And, here we have the Ninja Charger. And all the little other parts of this set. So we'll start off with all the figures and we'll show their little things as we get to the figures. So start off with the recon drone, well the recon android because he's the simplest. He has these two little thingies he obviously I think can fly. I think this is a little laser gun turret thing. Those are supposed to be like his little eyes and his little body. It's a very creative little build. I don't believe you see any of these in the show though so it's not 100% show accurate, but still, that's pretty cool. Now we'll put them over here. So, no, I'll save that for next, because that one's probably my favorite. Next, we have this little saw thing, but the Nindroid in it, well, I have to do a quick comparison, because the two Nindroids are not the same. They obviously have different weapons, and this one has a jetpack. They do have the same head printing, you can see that there, is the same as that there. But, um, the torso printings are different, and this one has leg printing, this one does not. So, we'll take a look at this one, because this one's not as cool. He has this little weapon, which I believe you actually get the same exact weapon built in other sets. Maybe Battle for Ninjago City, I don't have it yet, but this looks the same as what's in the picture. So... Obviously, I believe this is a printing used for Mindroid, maybe, or just the Nindroid drones. And then he has the printing on the back. Back printing and front printing on his face. I know this isn't great quality, but you've seen Nindroids before. Why will my thingy-majiggy not focus? Focus camera, focus. Alright, there we go. Yep, there is... The first Nindroid, and he obviously has the cool Nindroid hood. I mean, they were cool the first million times we got them. There's no reason it's not cool now. And his little thing, Majiggy, you actually do see these in the show. It's kind of funny, though, because they come up like this with, with Nindroids in them, obviously, but they don't leave a scratch, so, you know. Yeah. But they look pretty cool. And the show, you see, like, two or three of these, so... It would have been nice to maybe get two in the set. Maybe instead of the little recon drone. But, just personal opinion. This one in the instructions, it's shown with the Technoblade. So, I mean, Technoblade is obviously Kai's, but I guess this Nindroid supposedly stole it. So, cool Technoblade piece. We've gotten this Technoblade before. In fact, all the Technoblades can be found in more than one set, except for Kohl's. So, yeah. But I guess Kohl's was in the cheapest set. So, here's the printing on him. I'll show you back printing and stuff when I take off the jetpack. But first I'll show you him with the jetpack on. It's a really cool little jetpack build. You got the two little handles for him to hold on to. You got these blades in the back. I don't know what they're doing, but these swords are kind of acting like wings. The jetpack almost. I don't know. You do see several Nindroid glider jetpack things in the show. But, uh, I don't remember this one, so 
they either show it and there's the back printing or you know but it does use one of those new cool things that has like it goes over the back it has the studs on the bottom and it has holes on the sides so that's how the swords are connected it does have the cool nindroid circle piece but yeah uh, this is a really cool little nindroid build I know it's not 100% show accurate maybe it might be still but I don't think it's 100% show accurate, but it is cool. So, he's still in the Technoblade. This is one of the only sets, by the way, where you have, like, one ninja vehicle, and then you have several. They might be smaller, but they're ninjroid vehicles, so, you know. This is one of the sets where they're kind of evenly matched. So, yeah. That's unique in itself. So, here is Kai... Kai's one of my favorite ninjas, so any set that comes with Kai, I'll probably get. But I do like Zane and Lloyd, too. Cole and Jay, a little bit less. But Kai does have that new hairpiece. This wasn't the first time it appeared. It appeared in the Kai Fighter, but, you know. By the way, this set is entirely based off episode 32, Codename Arcturus. Because um, that was the only episode in which we saw the Ninja Charger. And we did see this in that episode. Yeah. Technoblades weren't in that episode, but, you know. So there is Kai. Therapies is cool. It does have face printing. I'll just take that and turn it around. I wish they would give him a new face someday. But, you know. I mean, his eyes look okay, but his mouth looks a little bit dumb. So there is his hair and printing on his torso obviously I showed you but I didn't really talk about it he has the fire symbol on the back so yeah there is Kai and this ninja charge was really cool but I'll show you the first function just because I want to show you the little bike inside first so this flame in the back when you lift up the hood you can push this out and his little bike will come out I'm going to try that again, just because that one didn't come out very quickly. You can get them to launch. You can get it to launch, like, pretty far out. Okay, now the wheels spin. So, let's try that again. It went all the way over here. Like, all the way over there. Just a pile of books, but you know. It went all the way over there. So yeah, that's a cool little feature, but we'll take a look at the bike real quick. So Kai obviously just sits, he has nothing to hold on to, but it does have that nice little, it's not printed, but it's a uh, stickered control panel. So that's pretty cool. It's a nice little piece, nice little sticker to get there. And you do have the two flame stickers on the front. The side's pretty nice, because you do get golden binoculars. It is a nice little build. Unless you, like, push these in really tight, the wheels spin nicely. So, yeah. And, it just looks, it doesn't look amazing. It's not the coolest bike ever, but it works with what we got in this set. Because, this here is the Ninja Charger little car frame part. You can't drive it unless you stick Kai's bike back in there. It goes into that little hole right there, which, that little hole, um, this is basically a Technic built set. You see that yellow piece in there? Um, when you push this forward, the little connector piece here is pushed out, and that's why that bike little, little bike thing launches. So yeah. By the way, the build... Building the set is fun. The only thing is, you have to like Technic parts. You have to like put Technic things together. But you know. So the wheels on this thing spin really nicely. And these nice uh, big golden wheels. You do have this... Uh, in the back, you have this engine, the supercharged engine. This is obviously what you push on to uh, release the little bike looks like that when you have it 
when he has a little bike out. But you do have a nice little basketball hoop piece in this dark gray steel color. You have a little spoiler on the back. It's in two parts, which you'll see why in a little bit. You might already know why if you've seen a review for this set in the past. So, you have these little golden blades. This is just a nice, really sleek looking car. The car part itself is a really cool build. Like, you don't really have to use this for Ninjago. If you took off the stickers, like if you didn't have these stickers on the front, it could be like just a random sports car. If you wanted it to. I obviously like Ninjago, so I'm going to keep the stickers, but, you know. So you do have this sticker on the side. This is a sticker. I, I like the way they use these golden blades, a little accent with the uh, binoculars. They do have a little golden clip and some studs on the side for some little, a little bit more detail. This is kind of cool. Uh, a cool way that they do this. But, you know, that's what the bike looks like when you can see it. If you're looking from the top, you can see that it does not have like a flat floor, but that's okay. Up here we have this little grill radiator piece thing. This is like an engine. It's got like six these little holes on the side. I mean, obviously it's three parts, but you know. And we do have that nice little look back there. And there is a sticker on the top. So there's a top view, side view, front view, which looks really cool. You like that. You got the two little headlights on the side, so, you know. One thing I do not like about this set is just this little section up here. I wish they would have done something to cover that up. Like, maybe put a big plate here, but I don't know. I don't know if that would have worked, because I don't know if it would stay on here. I didn't have a 1x8, like, is it 8? I think it is. A 1x8 red plate to test it with, so I didn't bother. If I can, I might try and make modifications. So, now on to the exciting part, weapons. We got these flick fire missiles. They can, like, fold all the way down to here, but I don't know why I'd want to do that. You want them like this if you want to fire them. Yeah. They're a little bit loose, though. So. There. They weren't pushed in all the way, either. So. It's got these golden studs. They don't do anything. They're just there for decoration when you fold it in. So yeah, and now onto the really most one of the most uh, cool parts of the set. This thing back here can unfold and become like a little spinning turret thing with the new spring-loaded missiles. So you obviously have to hold this and that, and it'll shoot out like that. I mean, it hit my hand, so it fell and hit Kai. But if you want to shoot it at the wall, I'll do that right now. Um, yeah. So I dropped one of the missiles. That's gonna happen. And because of that, they give you an extra one. So I'll just stick the extra one in here. And, I mean, I'll probably end up finding that other missile that I just shot and dropped. But if you don't, you have an extra. So, yeah. There is the X1, oh, by the way, there are stickers right here and right here, because that's where you push to lift up the hood. That's what the bike looks like. Oh, you might notice these nice long red tiles. Pretty cool. But that's what it looks like if you open it up with the bike still in there. All in all, this is a really nicely done set. It's cool. It's $40, so decent price for what you're getting because you are definitely getting a really awesome vehicle here as well as 426 pieces so it's less than uh, 10 cents a piece so that's cool yeah basically all of uh, this set is a really cool set if you don't have it I would definitely suggest go out and buy it before it's gone one of my favorite Ninjago sets probably from this year. This and I don't know about Battle for Ninjago City though because I do not have it yet. Probably won't get it for a while because I still want to get the Lego movie theme. So yeah.
Lego Movie and Ninjago are my two favorite themes, if you can't tell. It's just I want to get the Lego Movie sets before they're gone. There will always be a new ninja. There's always a need for a ninja. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, go and check out some of the uh, cool content on my channel. And, yeah. That's just about all for this video. And, yeah. trying to think. Is there anything I forgot? Um, no. So yeah, that's about all. By the way, um, go and check out some of my other Ninjago reviews. I do have all of the very first wave and eventually hope to have all of the second wave as well, but I do have Destructoid, so you know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please reach out and subscribe and have a fan fantastic day.